Good morning, Power Boosters. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin. Kevin! Thanks for everyone for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do. This week's video, I'm going to show a little bit how the adaptive cruise control works in the Copilot 360 Assist. I have the Assist and not the Active. The Active is the one that gives you the blue cruise with the sensors um, that allow you to take your hands off the wheel full time as long as your eyes are on the road. And then I think also that package might include the uh, parking assist feature. I'm not 100% certain on that. I do know that during uh, a certain period of time, they were not allowing people to add that onto their orders, the active package because of the parts shortages. So I don't know if that's still the case or not. If you know, put that in the comments. But uh, this is one of my favorite features of the truck. It, it um, holds you in your lane. It's actually lane centering and not just lane keep assist, which lane keep assist is nice and it obviously helps out in, in a lot of cases from people swerving off the road. But I think the lane centering is uh, should be standard on every single vehicle. It's not perfect in every single application, but certainly on the throughway, uh, it's very useful. It steers through most turns, obviously, uh, very sharp turns it's not going to it's not going to hold the line it'll actually disengage and require the driver to take over and actually uh, steer at that point in time the lane uh, the lane assist still works during that time though but there are some quirks to the system and any adaptive cruise control system that I do not like that certainly apply here but uh, in a moment here I'll show you how the cruise control, adaptive cruise control works. And then we'll also look in the menu because you can engage and disengage certain features. When I get to a point where I can do that, I will do it. Okay, so this is how it works here. So you have uh, the button to engage and disengage adaptive cruise control. In the menu settings, you can actually uh, make this a standard cruise control without the adaptive feature, which will pace you, uh, let's say you're going 70 miles an hour and the car in front of you is going 65 once you reach a certain point it uh, the threshold that you set based on the distance here so this button here will will change the distance in which you'll follow that car in front of you it obviously will slow you down and keep you at that speed in the car in front of you so you don't slam into it and even in stop and go traffic in a traffic jam it will uh, stop you completely and and speed you up that combined with this button here which will do the lane centering uh, creates a pretty stress-free uh, a pretty stress-free traffic jam <laughs> setup so I like to use this when I'm in traffic jams a lot because I keep my foot off the pedal uh, I lightly have my hand on the steering wheel and it's you know it's not fun to be in a traffic jam but it's not fun to constantly be hitting the gas and the brake either and this kind of takes the stress of that away so uh, we're in an area where it's 65 miles an hour speed limit. So let's say I want to go a little above the, the speed limit. I engage the system. I've already engaged the lane centering and you can see the car in front of me is not going the speed that I had set, which is 67 miles an hour. Now, well, now they're speeding up. So I'm going 66, but I have it set to 67. So it's keeping me there. I'm also technically not touching the steering wheel right now and it's turning and it's keeping me centered in the lane. So I'm gonna show you after a second here, if you don't have your hand on the steering wheel, of course, that little message comes up to warn you, keep your hands on the steering wheel, and if you wait even longer, that happens. And then if you wait even longer than that, it will disengage the system and it will no longer be there. You just have to kind of technically wiggle this a little bit, although you should keep your hand on it at all times, which I do. I don't ever take my hand off ever, not even once. Yeah, and so it's, it's a pretty great system. And for me and anyone that drives a lot, or even if you don't drive a lot, it just takes the stress away. Another cool feature about this truck that I use in conjunction on some roads that the lane starting will still work is if there's a lot of traffic lights, there's also a feature that will do the auto hold that will uh, let you stop at a, a traffic light and take your foot off the brake which is another godsend <laughs> in terms of, um, you know, taking the fatigue away from driving and keeping your foot on, in, uh, on the, the gas or on the brake pedal for an amount of time, you know, if, if there's a lot of traffic lights that makes your leg a little tired after a while if you've been driving around all, all day like I do. So you can see this car is turning off a little bit. So it slowed me down. 
I have it set to 63 right now, even though it's 65. But one of the annoying things about this system is that when you, let's say for example, there's an on-ramp merging, you're on the throughway, there's an on-ramp, and if someone merges in in front of you and you're going, if you're going 70 miles an hour at 65, someone merges in front of you and they're going slower than that, you slow down because then you want to keep the, the distance away from the car. So right now I have it set to the closest uh, distance, following distance. But uh, if you want to, yeah, you can see the little thing changing under there. I like it the closest setting there. You can see that little blue thing. This is as far as away you can go, and then this is as close as you can go. I, uh, right here is as close as you can go. But I, I think that it gets annoying to the car behind you. Let's say there's a car behind you, then you slow down and then they slow down, and then it creates a, a situation where if people wanna merge in, there's enough space even at the closest following distance where if they merge in, you have to slow down because the, the radar senses there's someone there and it slows you down. So you can get kind of stuck in a, uh, a spot where if there's a lot of traffic, people are constantly wanting to merge in in front of you. So sometimes you have to kind of just put your foot on the gas and and go around the slow person in order to, to keep up with traffic and not have that thing happen all the time with it. So uh, I, I like to do that. All right, so we're getting towards the end of the throughway here. I just disengaged the system and gonna take it off now. So this has the intelligent adapter for cruise control, which works in conjunction with the speed, uh, speed limit sign sensing. So it will, you can set a threshold and I have it set for five miles above the speed limit because that's usually, you know, we as a rule of thumb, we know the police probably aren't gonna pull you over if you're only going five miles above the speed limit. So I always set, have it set to that. And that helps you if there's like, you're going through smaller towns that, you know, they have their little speed traps or, you know, that goes from 55 to, to 35. And, you know, there's always a cop sitting there waiting for you. It saved me a couple tickets already. I know that because I, I often forget that the speed drops down because you're, you know, you're, you get the highway hypnosis and you're not thinking about it, but it's a pretty great system. The, the intelligent cruise system is, uh, this is the first time I've ever had that system in a car. And I absolutely love the addition to that to this adaptive cruise and lane centering. I think adaptive cruise is great by itself, but it's made way better by lane centering and it's made even better yet still by the intelligent cruise system. So in a minute I'll stop and we'll just look at the, the menu in the settings real quick just so you can see that. And then we will uh, wrap up the video. Okay, so we're just gonna look at the menu real quick. Sorry for all the dust here. I need to clean the inside of the truck a little bit. So you can go into the uh, features, driver assistance, and you see you've got the um, lane keeping system alert here, pre-collision alert, cruise control is set to adaptive. You can actually go in here and look and see that it has the um, speed sign recognition engaged, lane centering is engaged, adaptive cruise control because I don't want it to be the normal cruise control. And then under tolerance, is where you set the uh, speed limit above uh, the threshold above uh, where you want the speed sign recognition and the adaptive cruise control to merge together and uh, and, and the uh, truck will go five, in this case, five miles an hour over the speed limit in all cases. And when the speed limit changes, the adaptive cruise will automatically change for you. So it's a really nice uh, feature. And, um, and like I said, I really like it. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I really like the adaptive cruise control, the lane centering, the speed sign recognition. I think that it should be a technology available in all cars. It helps to save accidents if uh, the driver is distracted, which as you know, these days we're all distracted for one thing or another. And it's definitely saved me some accidents and some speeding tickets as well too. Uh, over the course of uh, me having the technologies available in whatever vehicle that I've had. And uh, I think that uh, if you're not equipping this on your F-150, you're not getting the full potential out of technology because we live in, what year is it, 2022. Uh, join the technology. Don't be stuck in the past and saying you don't need these things because these things are, are awesome. That's it. Uh, for the video for this week. If you guys have any questions about anything and want to see vi future videos on anything, please put that down in the comments. 
It helps me out uh, to figure out what to do in future videos. And having said that, I will see you in the next video. Camera!